hi and welcome back to the behind the scenes again on my way to italy again on my way to stansted airport again i'm late again i've currently got about an hour and a half before my flight i've got about a mile and a half yet to walk it's a lot busier on this road in the daytime i'm usually bombing around on here in the middle of the night and it's pitch black but it's actually quite nice but there's loads of cars big uh, busy motorway down there as well so i've got my tripod with me this time i'm not really supposed to take it on the plane of course i haven't paid for any extra baggage or anything it's very windy very cold but if they catch me with it i probably have to throw it away which is not good anyway it's probably gonna be very windy on the camera so i'll see you in the airport right i'm in the airport's uh, car park We've got 45 minutes before the gate closes and uh, I ain't got through security or actually even got in the building yet. It's going to take me another five minutes to walk up here at least, then through security and then find my gate which could be miles away. Always on the last push. Always. Anyway, I'm out of breath. Right, I've got 20 minutes to get to my gate. I'm through security, thank fuck. But it says... 25 minute walk to my gate so, so it's a push it's a massive push i think i'll do it like i've never failed before so why would i fail this time let's get there forgot about this it's the shuttle to my gate this is an important oh, thank god for that this right. is the gate one to 39. thank god for that this is going to help out massively the only problem is I don't like relying on someone else or something else. So if this suddenly takes forever to set off, although I think it's going there, but if it took ages, I'd be stuck. But I'm dead, I am dead, I'm so tired. That is definitely quicker than walking. We were in that building and we've got to go miles down here. It's pretty quick to be fair that. So thank God. We're going to get there on time. Right, I did it. I'm here. I made it in time. These are the last few stragglers I think going through. Although, I'm not 100% sure if all these people are waiting to go on as well. Or this could be another flight, I'm not sure. But anyway, not going to risk it. I'm going up to the desk. Right, we've done it. We've managed to get here again. <laughs> last second job. But yeah, we're... Uh, we're fine. I'm going on the back even though I'm supposed to be going on the front, but I don't care because it meant I got to talk to you while I walked a little bit. Anyway, see you at the other side. Right, I'm here in Rome. However, I can't remember the name of the airport. It's something like Camper Van Airport or something <laughs> so stupid. I don't know what it's called. Camp Camper New or something stupid like that. I can't remember. But the, it was a bit weird. It was a bit weird when we got off and when we were on because they kept moving people around and going on about the balance of the plane saying that there was too much weight at one end so they moved everybody around but then when we've just come to land then everybody got up and they were telling certain people to sit down or move forward because they said that the plane was unstable that's not what you want to hear is it anyway into the airport i've booked a hotel so we're going to go straight there once we've got the car and get the food and then the sleep. Right, so I've got my car. It's a Lancia. And you know what? I don't mind them. I've had a Lancia when I was in Italy one time before. Not last time, the time before that. I'd rather have that than a Kia because they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I am actually not in the airport I landed in. I'm actually at a different airport now because there was a group of lads from the UK uh, and they'd booked a seven seater and there were loads obviously seven of them and um they'd booked it for the wrong airport and they were having a nightmare it's like about half an hour drive but they were getting like people were saying oh yeah we'll we'll charge you like 300 euros to take you there and stuff like that it's like no mate one of you can get in with me and i'll take you to the airport and we'll come pick it up so yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhere totally different now um so i'm off to my hotel um, I don't think there'll be much to show you. If there is, I'll show you on the way. If not, I'll see you at the airport. No, not the airport. Bloody hell. The hotel. I need a rest tonight, I think. Right, I'm at the hotel. 
you know what? It's just outside a town and there's loads of places open still. So I'm gonna just get in, dump my stuff and go. But I need to tell you something in a minute. Let me just show you the room first. Now it's only a, a teeny tiny room. I just put the cheapest one. It's, it's very basic. Oh, we've got a telly. Not that I'm gonna watch it at all. But that's all I need. Somewhere to charge things, a bed and somewhere to poo. And the last one is very, very, <laughs> it's going to happen a lot. Um, so, when I went to pick the car up, I said something really weird. I, I've got, I get full insurance. And the reason I get full insurance, it costs me more in one way, but it doesn't in another. Doesn't in another. Because, basically what they do, they ring fence a certain amount of money. So if you smash the car up, then they just keep the money. It's like a deposit. And they always do 500 euros. It's too much. I Like, it co it'll it come out of my, like, any of this money comes out of my money. And then I have to sort of claim it back at the end of the month when I get paid. I've just walked into that bed and it hurt. So I don't really want to pay that out. So instead I pay a hundred deposit and then I pay like 120 euros in total for everything. Whereas on the other one, I would have paid like 70 euros. So I'm paying an extra 50 euros, but I'm not having to ring fence 500 euros. But he says, whatever insurance you get, whether you get the one where it's 500 or 100, if you go any further south than Napoli, the insurance doesn't count because there's that much car crime that they just don't insure you. That's madness. I've never heard anything like, that's like going south of Birmingham. And as soon as you go south of Birmingham, that's it, your car insurance isn't. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that before in my life, but I'm not going that far down south anyway. So it's fine, it doesn't really affect me, but but yeah, it's, uh, it's not, I don't like car hire. I hate it, if I'm being honest. And people are gonna go, oh, why don't you go to camper van and drive it there? Because it'd take me fucking days and cost me three billion pounds in diesel. Anyway, anyway, I'm going out for food. I need a wee there first. Right, just wanted to show you the outside of this place. Cause I don't know whether I'll have time in the morning or not. It's got its own little pool. Nice little seating area. It is actually raining. Only tiny bit, only a little tiny bit. It's not bad. It cost me 60 quid for the night, which actually isn't that bad compared to some of the places I go to where I've, I have to pay up to like over 100 quid for a night. I, I, it goes through me, I'm not gonna lie. I, this is why I end up sleeping in a car a lot of the time. Two reasons, one, because like when you're getting from an explorer at one o'clock in the morning, you don't wanna be going and hassling people and going in reception and stuff like that. And also because it costs a fortune and then it becomes, is it worth doing? Is it worth doing the trips if I'm paying 500 pounds out for, for accommodation, um, like 150 pound out for a car, 50 pound out for the, uh, for the flights, then the diesel to get to the, the actual airport, it adds up. And trust me, it is worth it. Like, I could do all of those things and spend those money and I still would be worth it. However, if I can cut corners and sleep in the car sometimes, ooh, careful, careful, Matthew, with the music. I got demonetized on something the other day. That's the other thing as well. If I'm stupid and I include music in there, then I'm fooked because I get nothing and there's no point, it doesn't pay back. Anyway, I need to go now and go and get some food because I am starving. I haven't eaten since about 11 o'clock and I only had a co-op meal deal, an egg mayonnaise sandwich. So, <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so for the first time in Italy for a while, the heavens have opened. I haven't seen it rainy here for a while. Like, I've been to Italy when it has rained in the past, but generally when I've been, it's been all right. But a lot of these places it rains at night and then it's fine through the day so I don't really care I don't even care if it rains while I'm exploring but I'd rather it didn't but if it does it does anyway I'm gonna go and find some food because I, I just I'm so hungry right two things I want to show you first of all is the car it's another teeny tiny beast I've just been to this place it's only like a takeaway but I said I'm starving, what can you do for me? And they've, they've given me this. 
I actually have no clue what is in this box. So we're gonna get back to the room quick and get on with it. But it smells delightful. It really does smell good. And then I've got three cans of Coke, because I'm fat. <laughs> I've still not looked in it. I'm waiting until you guys see it in the room. But I'm back at the place. As you can see, it stopped raining. It only rained for about five minutes. So we're back in. I hope I'm allowed food in my room. Otherwise I'm in shit. Right, it's the moment of truth. Now just to give you proportion, it's quite big. I am out of breath from running up the stairs. Oh my lord, look at this. Oh, so good. It's like kebabs in pizza bread. Oh, that's so good. Oh, right, I am getting down this quickly because I am starving. How many do you reckon we can do? I think all of them. Oh, I need to lie down. I'm having a food baby. I'm dead. <laughs> Look. I have just absolutely smashed that, and but I feel so sick. And those, I feel so sick. And this is looking very appealing now. So I'm gonna get myself sorted, get some stuff plugged in, and then chill out for an hour and then go to sleep, I think. So, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Oh God, it's 10 o'clock. I didn't want to be in bed this long. I wanted to be up by now. I definitely wanted to be up by now. Oh, but at nine o'clock, somebody walked into my room. Somebody just, it was the maid woman, cleaner woman. Just walked in and went, oh, sorry, I walked back out again. So, God knows. And I'm absolutely naked. <laughs> so, she will have had a shock. But let's see what it's like outside. Let's see what the weather is like today. It's looking a bit mixed. How do I open this? Can I open this? Does it open? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, we've got to go right to this end there. This is the view out of my window. Oh, it's a bit mixed, really. Let me show you. God, my eyes don't work. So this is the view out of my window. Mountain, well, hills up there. It's, it's looking a bit sort of ropey over here. It's, it's looking a bit like a building site. That looks abandoned over there. I don't think it is. I just think it's a bit, a bit scruffy. But if that was in the UK, I would think that was abandoned. But this is what I've said before. A lot of places in different countries look abandoned, but they're not. So anyway, it's it's a bit grey, but it's not raining. So we'll take that. It's probably about 15 degrees. So it's not really warm, but it's not freezing either. But anyway. I'm going to see if I can get some breakfast downstairs. I don't know if they stop serving at 10, though, and it's five past 10. All right, so I'm just like, God, look at a right state, don't I? I've just had a look, and they stopped serving at half past nine. So I'm going to get a quick shower, and then, sorry, just having a good scratch. <laughs> going to have a quick shower. I'm going to be careful of mirrors, and then I'm going to go out, get some breakfast, and then go and get stuff done for the day. Right, we're out of here. That was a nice shower. I'm not gonna lie, that was a nice shower. I don't feel like I've done very much yet and it's Saturday morning, it's almost Saturday dinner. I'm feeling a bit like I'm wasting time. So we're gonna head straight, well, we're gonna get some breakfast, dinner, breakfast, dinner. Head straight over to where we need to go because hopefully I can get a few locations done in the same place. So we will we'll see, but I don't wanna waste any more time. So I'm cracking on. In fact, why am I still talking to you? Right, I couldn't really find anywhere to have breakfast, so I'm just driving now. I think I'm going I think I'm going the right way. I actually don't know. I need to probably check on maps. But I just thought I need to go into the mountains, so let's just head towards where the big hills are. So I'm hoping I'm going the right direction. I need to move over so this car can come round. Right, so I'll catch up with you in a minute when I've got a bit more of a clue. Because at the moment I am a little bit clueless. A little bit clueless. 
Right, so I've stopped. <laughs> I've stopped in a place I'm only allowed to stop for five minutes to go and get some food because I don't follow rules. You should know this. It's very noisy where I am, but it is pretty cool to be fair. Look at this. So we've got a bit of a castle going on over here. I have no idea what this building is. Right, we're in a place called Tivoli, Tivoli, Tivoli. And then over behind these trees down here, it just drops off. We'll go and have a look in a sec. I've just got to be careful. Oh God, they're just pushing that car. Got to be careful because I don't want to get in trouble for parking here too long. But it is what it is. Right, let me show you where I am. It's so busy around here, like the cars are crazy. God, there's enough fountains around here, isn't there? This is so good. But like I say, you get quite a lot of 80s looking flats. But then you want to see the view over here. It's just amazing. Looking across the valley, because we're heading up into the mountains now. The only thing I feel bad about today is it's my dad's birthday. I've paid for him to go away for the weekend, to be fair. Uh, stay in a hotel but I know that he'd love this and it's mad because it's really hilly where we are but down there it is certainly not hilly at all let me show you right so we've come from up there that's where the car is up there then look across here it's ridiculously flat in this direction and then the mountains just start it's just the edges of where the mountains are I'm not, not going to lie, it just doesn't look as good on camera. But it just looks really spectacular because of how flat it is over there. There's loads of buildings that look like this though. But it's just factory build, old factory buildings I think. So it's not really something that's going to interest me. But there does seem to be stuff that looks abandoned around here. But anyway, just thought I'd give you a look. It's just cool. I like these, these trees lining the streets as well. Anyway, better go and get some food before I get clamped. Don't know why I'm just showing you a tree. Right, so I think I'm gonna go and get food over there. I just spotted this that they're giving away, doing a little competition for those things. Right, that's about the size of the car that I'm gonna get next. No doubt I'll have to sleep in one of those. <laughs> imagine, imagine it, it's so tiny. It's a Citroen little mini electric car. But yeah, anyway, I think we're going to sit outside on one of these bits. I can't believe how busy this place is. It is just, oh God, this, go behind you. This, there's just cars everywhere, going in every direction. And it's only a little tiny town in the middle of the mountains. It's crazy, really. Anyway, let's, uh, I know I'm just showing you people and streets and things, but it's not all about like monuments and castles and things. I like to show you like daily life as well. Just gives you a bit of an idea what these places are actually like. Right, probably copyrighted music, so I've got to be quick again. Got a nice little cappuccino, nice little chocolate thingy thing, and crack it on. Right, my spidey sense is telling me I need to go in that castle. Now, I could do with getting off, to be fair. But, like I said before, it's got to be a balance between these behind the scenes videos and seeing good stuff, not just seeing driving, eating, driving, eating, and also doing explores. So, wanna get run over, let's run, 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 like a fat man. So, I'm gonna go and find somewhere better to park so I don't get clamped. And then I'm gonna find my way over there. And I need to, because there's just something in my head that is telling me it's good over there don't know why I, I, I've not looked at anything I can't find anything about the place oh, there's a map here that map says I need to that map says I definitely need to right let's get back in the car and find somewhere better to park right quite easily found a car park to be fair it's brightening up lovely now as well it's quite warm I'd say it's maybe at 17 or 18 degrees which I'll take in in the uh, Oh, it's March now, actually. So it is warming up anyway, but it's lovely. It's really nice. No hoodie needed. But I need to try and work out how you get out of here now. Is it over there? But yeah, how bizarre is that look? 
big castle and then scabby flats. Doesn't look quite right, does it? But yeah, I've just got a feeling there's some good stuff knocking about down here. So we're gonna go and work it out. Right, Matt is gonna be his normal, normal self now. So there's a Roman amphitheatre just here, right next to me. But I can't find a way in and it, I don't know if it's even open. So I'm gonna go in the naughty way. But there's a lot of people about. And in fact, there's a police car just there across. The, it's only a tiny one. There is a police car. Now, that also is the police station. Oh great, what a choice. What a choice of places to jump up. And there's some important looking policemen going down there as well. So if I just quickly get up on this wall, I don't know whether I dare do it. I'm just gonna stand here a minute. Right, literally, police station is there. Way in is there. Do I do it or don't I do it? <sighs> nervous, nervous, nervous. Because this guy here, the one with the suit on, looks important. He looks like an important copper. So I don't know whether, I'm now going this way just because we looked this direction so I want to look like I'm filming other things. I don't know whether I should. I don't know whether I should. I've only gone and done it. I don't think I've been spotted, but I've got to try and use this tree as cover until I get far enough up here out of the way. Because I'm in an awkward spot. Right, I'm gonna show you as quick as I can. Right, here we are in the castle grounds, Roman amphitheatre. I don't know how to get down. I don't want to make it really difficult for myself to get back up. It's not actually really that hard, but everything's soaking. And I'm in, actually I'm in the right shoes for a change. But I can show you from here without getting down. But they didn't find this until 1948. I've just been doing some research. 1948 they found it, hidden underneath the stuff from the castle. There's a woman watching me on the top of there. Don't know whether she's gonna, she's like something to do with the castle or not. But I'm definitely not supposed to be here. So I'm not gonna spend much time being here. But look, this is all the ruins. Or oh, part of it is, part of it will have been like reconstructed like these bits with brick. But a lot of it is the original stonework from um, 200 AD. So we're talking like 1800 years old. I'm guessing they have like little things going off in here because it's very well maintained. And then you've got the castle up there where there is somebody stood up there. But I don't know whether, I don't know who they are. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Actually, the thing I didn't think about is I've now got to get back down next to the coppers. Before I could time it right, this time, I can't see them until it's too late. So I'm li literally probably gonna get in trouble here because I'm on a bit that you're probably not supposed to walk on either, which is a bit bad. I shouldn't really be doing it, but if it's our only option of seeing it and I'm only here for five minutes, then then why not? I knew there was something here worth seeing. I just, I got a feeling. And then I saw that sign down there that told me about it now. Which way did I come? This way. I've got to try and use the different things to keep me to keep me um, covered. Oh no, there's police there. There's police, this whole building's police, I think. Oh bloody hell. Right, I'm going. Right, just look how cheeky I am. I literally got in here. <laughs> look, it's the police station with all these police cars. They're down at the other end of here as well. They're, every <laughs> they're everywhere. How did I get away with that? Right, I'm currently going down all the back streets trying to find something in particular that I've seen a photograph of. But I keep coming back to the same place. I keep coming back to this front bit. So I'm getting myself lost. I've ended up spending 100 quid on getting our Freddy a Juventus shirt. Well, it was 91 pounds for Juventus shirt and shorts, which he will massively appreciate. He loves football, anything to do with football. And I try and get him kits from different places. I got him a Napoli kit last time when I was, I was in Italy with him. Um, but I just thought, you know what? I don't need anything. I'd rather have a night not sleeping in a hotel and, and get him something. Anyway, I'm gonna go down here, I think. 
Yeah, there's some very nice looking food places down these little alleys. But the thing is, I've only just had my breakfast, but I am actually starving. I'm really, really hungry. I love these little, little roads. Look at that, that's proper stereotypical though, isn't it, with a little Fiat coming up a little Italian back alley. Oh, look at that though. Roast pork. Oh, I could definitely, definitely, definitely smash that at the moment. Anyway, we'll keep going, see what we come across. Right, seriously, how, how Italian is this? <laughs> I know we're in Italy, that's pretty obvious, but like, look, stupid things like this wooden door, for example. How long has that been there? Ave Maria, little thing there. So, so good. And also, we've got a museum here, which I'm guessing you pay to go in. Then there's a church down here. And we're gonna have a look at this. I've not even seen this on any maps. Look, we've got another little, little Mary in a box. It's like Jack in the box, but Mary. Anyway, let's crack on and get in here. If we're allowed to, anyway. Right, this is where we are. Now I don't know if, I don't know if this music's copyrighted, but I'm gonna run the risk because it's really good in here. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be filming or not, but got little confessional boxes in the corner there. Got all the, what I'm guessing are saints around the outside. It's a very, actually very plain church itself for a Catholic church, which I'm presuming that's what it is. It's very, very, very plain. Like you've got all your, it might not be actually. It looks a little bit, oh, what's it called now? Like the Greeks have the same thing. It looks like that sort of church to me. Anyway, I've got to be careful. I don't want to get in trouble for filming, but it is really good. I do like a good church, especially ones abroad. They just seem to go to that little bit extra effort. But I don't want to spend too long in here though, because I've not really got very long to crack on and, and go other places. So, but anyway, there we go. Right, I'm off. Well, almost, I had to show you this floor. Look at this. It's really, really fancy. And then the walls and ceilings are really, really plain. How strange is that? Anyway. There we go. Can you tell I'm in a rush today? Right, I've just been reading this place, this church we've just been in. I just read it on here. Basically, it was built with the stones of multiple Roman villas that had collapsed. They reused the stone. Um, the crypt in there was built in the 12th century and it's got artwork. I don't know how, where it was. Look, that's it there. I don't know whether we should go back in and have a quick look. Uh, but basically, um, the pillars that were in there, like these ones outside here, were all rescued from other grand buildings from the Roman era. How cool is that? I love that they've reused stuff like that. We've made a friend. Come on. Pss, 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 pss. I don't know if it'll let me stroke it. I'm gonna try. Pss, 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 pss. Hello, you're lovely, probably covered in fleas and gonna bite me. But I don't, yeah, it's okay. Pss, 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 pss. It's like, no, look at me bum all. You're not stroking me, you can look at me bum all instead. Pss, 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 pss. Come on. No, it's, it's not bothered. Oh, hello, where have you come from? Do you wanna be friends? Nah, he's like, not even looking at you, mate. <laughs> I do like, looking at the animals and stroking the animals and things like that. Like, why not? Especially like the street ones. I know you're not really supposed to, but I don't care. Anyway, I wanna get in there, but I don't know how. So, I have to go up these steps and try and find my way back to where I need to be. All right, I've come, oh, there's another cat down there now. I've come up the stairs, only to find it's a dead end, although, might want to get out in this corner here. I'm not sure. Bloody hell. I'm definitely gonna have done my steps and my walking today. I've been miles so far. Right, I ended up coming in that place that sells the roast pork and he's banging me some, some honey on my pork and like, God knows what else. I, I don't, oh, I've got some cheese going on. 
that looks good as well. It's like proper cheese in it. And uh, all sorts of other stuff as well. All right, so he's making the stuff. Then you've got a little sit-in bit as well. It's really nice in here, it's really good. It's only little. Right, it was so nice in there. Like I said, it was the place that I saw with the pork sign across the road there. She's given me this, and this is gonna be the, one of the first things to go in the book. Now, if you don't know about the book, I'll tell you about the book. So I got a book while I was, it was just on TikTok, and it's like a travel book. It looks really, really cool. And it's like, a bit like a scrapbooking book. And I put all different things in there from my trip this time, my trip like every time this year and you've got a chance of winning it and it's going to be very very it's individual nobody's going to have anything like this nobody at all not even me so it's going to be something good for you to keep now i know this isn't really this is just like something from a, a restaurant but you're going to go oh look matt picked this up here and it all tie in and i think it's a really good idea it doesn't have to be anything expensive the tickets are a fiver five pounds and they're on the website findersbeepers.co.uk um really easy to do and you get yourself the book costs 12 quid so if you get that you're getting the book for, for a fiver so it's really good anyway just thought i'd tell you this is the first thing that's going in i'll not tell you every time i put something in it but i just thought you'd be interested now what did i tell you every time i go the wrong way i end up coming back here to this same spot next to the castle next to the big drop where you can see over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sit down on one of these benches eat my food and then try and work out where we need to go to that place that's just down the hill probably down the hill that'd be a good idea let me show you what i've got now it's a sandwich it's only a sandwich but it's heated up it's got the proper cheese on it the pork now the thing that a lot of you won't like is it's got the fat and the crackling on it as well, which is fine by me. It's got honey in there, it just looks really nice. And a lot of you won't like the look of it, especially Anne, who's a vegetarian, she'll not be a fan, but it looks and smells delicious. This is so good. Now, I got told off in the last video for not eating enough local cuisine, which is fair, I probably didn't. It's, sometimes it's just not that easy, but this is like proper, proper stuff look at the size of it as well i don't think you realize how big it was when i was showing you down there it's bigger than my head and my head's massive so oh the cheese and the meat in it are so good and the fat i'm sorry but the fat is beautiful right that was probably one of the best pork sandwiches i have ever had ever there was a little bit too much pork fat on there like, i don't mind a little bit i usually get a bit of pork fat and a bit of crackling but they were like proper slices of it. So the pigeons ended up eating those. Now the place I wanted to go, just been looking on the maps, is this way. However, I think you have to walk about 42 miles in a big circle to get to it. I cannot find a way through, although there may be a sign over there that I've just seen. Maybe we can get down here. I'll have a look in this corner. If not, I'm gonna go because the clouds over there are getting very black. I don't want to get soaked, particularly. Um, and also, it's one o'clock now. So, if I want to get to this place before it goes dark, I need to hurry up. But I still want to try and show you this place that we're at now. Right, we got to the place where we're going. It's just a like a priesty monkey person there. Well, he's not a monkey. I wasn't saying he were a monkey. Um, <laughs> but this is the place we need to go in. I think we have to pay which I might do, I might do it today. Oh, it's look, it's the Italian version of Kez. Um, because actually I think there might be some pr pretty impressive things in here. And I've spent ages looking for this place. In fact, let's have a look in here first. See what this is. Because this looks like another big church to me. I don't know if it will be impressive or not. Well, Jesus is here anyway. Oh my Lord, look at this place. Now I am gonna go, oh Lord. I don't wanna get in trouble, but I've gotta be quiet. Look at it in here. Look at this. 
These are the sorts of buildings I love. And I might get in trouble in a minute. I'll come back to this bit. Oh my goodness me. These are just out of this world. I love the British churches. But they just seem to be so much better over here, don't they? I'll go a bit further around and I'll film a bit more for you. Oh, in fact, let's look at Jesus on here. Looks like Joseph in his technical dream coat, to be fair. But anyway, look at this. Look at this. That is out of this world. I've never seen anything like that, I don't think. That's amazing. The colours on there are unbelievable. Now up this side you've got all the little confessional boxes. I don't know how it works though. Because do you stand outside and the priest sits inside? Oh yeah, the little doors are there, look. This is mad, this place. Anyway, like I said, I haven't particularly got loads of time. Just look at the colour of it in here though. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Right, so how, how did I not notice that? How did I not notice that ceiling? <laughs> look at that. But yeah, I've paid to get in. It is not like me, this is a first. I don't do things like this. <laughs> Unless I'm with my family, I do when it's things like that. But I don't for the channel because it ends up racking up, the costs rack up, but I've been looking at the photos of this place and it's worth coming in, I want to show you. Look at this, that's beautiful, I would happily now get in that, because look how clear that water is. Look. Now this is probably one of the least impressive parts of the whole of the building. I can't be too long, so it is going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour or whatever you say. I wonder what's under these. There's a few of them. Is it just drains? Or is there something more impressive underneath there? I always wonder. Just makes me think of the Famous Five and Secret Seven books. I think it was Famous Five. They, they pulled one of those up and got down underneath a castle. It just always makes me think, like, think of things like that. Ooh, actually, look. So you've got all those on there. And then there's, there's archways and tunnels underneath here. There is some stairs down over there, so I wonder if that gets you into it. But, right, well, I don't even know where to start, to be fair. Garden, first aid point, might need that. Toilets, lift. Right, I'm gonna go down these stairs, I think, first. I think that's the best course of action. Straight down here. Although everybody seems to be coming up here, but we're going down. Right, so it says exit that way. So I'm guessing I've come the wrong way, but look at it, I've come down about 100 steps to get down here. I am miles underneath. There are little doors, but I am definitely going the wrong way. I'm walking the opposite way to everybody else. This has always been me in my life. If I open a book, oh, well, men, oh, wow. Wow, I'm looking forward to going outside. If I open a book, or a magazine mainly, I'll always look at it from the back page. I'm dyslexic, I know that that's not typically dyslexic behavior, but I always start at the back. Also, I just do things the opposite way to everybody else. I'm a bit weird. Anyway, look out of this window. Look at this big window here, looking across the valley. Although I'm not gonna show you because I think if I go down here, we're about to see better. Right, so even more stairs we've come down. We've come absolutely miles down here so far. And now, look at this. Right, look at where we are. Oh my Lord, I've left the drone. You're gonna tell me off because I've left the drone in the car, but it's locked and it's in the boot. So we're all right. But look at this, and this is where we're going. 
This place is amazing. What is that down there? Careful, do not fall bag. Putting it on the floor. It's going on the floor. That's 100 pounds with a football kit. There, look. The fountain inside that door over there. I don't know what that place is. In fact, that's the building I was looking at earlier on. This one said, oh, look, there's an abandoned looking building down there. So I don't know what any of this bit is down here. Then you've got around that corner, you've got all the hilltop villages and towns with the mountains in the background. And then down here, we've got some fountains. I told you this place was worth coming in. This view is amazing for a start. Look at that. Wonderful. Yeah, I almost forgot the bag. <laughs> I just had to come back for it. That was amazing. You can see the rain over there though. Look at that rain coming down. We need to not be too long here because it's going to bang it down. I knew it was earlier when I saw those clouds, but you've got views. I'll get around these people taking photos. I don't want to get in the way. Have a look around here as well. Oh, look, we get a better view here as well. You know what? I don't know whether to do it. There's nobody about. Look at this. How amazing is this? See, it's not that high anyway, even if I fall up. I'll only die a bit. So good. That is amazing. With the mountains up behind us as well. And it gives you a bit of a better idea of the building that we're going round. Right, I've just found this on the floor. It's not, I don't even know where it's from. It sort of looks Greek. But I'm not sure where it is from. Denaria. But anyway, that's going in the book. So that will be something else added to the book. Because I have no idea what it is. It was just floating around on the floor. Now, like I said, everybody is heading the opposite direction to me. Italians are very loud people. Very loud people. But, yeah, I'm walking the opposite direction to everyone else. It's true. <laughs> He's just shouted. Did you hear him? Then he went, very loud people. Very loud people. And now he's telling all his friends. It's true, though. They are. They are very loud. That, that's minus one point for me. 100% that's minus one point for me because I, it's a British thing. It's terrible. You walk around speaking English thinking, oh, nobody understands what I'm saying. But everybody understands what you're saying. Everybody. And it's true, though. You get different, different people that are like, we're British are horrible. We're loud as well. But I just think that they're loud in a different kind of way. I think that they're very expressive and they're like, woo, let's do this. Whereas we're just like, oh, nubbins. But anyway, <laughs> I don't think he was very impressed with me. Right, that's the front of the building. We're gonna head down here. Cause I think from the sounds of things, this is where all the fountains are. And that's what I wanted to come and see. Oh, there's little bits of water everywhere, to be fair. Oh, and it's actually drinking water, it says there as well. I'm having a bit of that. Gotta be done. I don't actually know if you saw my face at all then. We'll give it another go and I'll have, I can actually see what I'm doing then. Not the nicest sight, to be honest. But it just cuts through that fat from that sandwich a minute ago. So cute though. I love this. This is what the Romans were famous for though, isn't it? Like stuff to do with water, like aqueducts and stuff. Look at that. Is that not just a beautiful picture? Right, let's go down to one of the main attractions. Right, everywhere you look, there's water shooting from somewhere. Whether it be, whether it be down here, round here in this little grotto, Look at his face there. Or, oh, and this is one of the main ones. I actually think this one down around this corner looks like, I think it's gonna be my favorite. There is a bigger one than this. Yeah, look little, look at that. The water's coming out all the way along there, look. Right up to there, it's raining. That rain's gonna come down heavy in a minute, so we better hurry up. 
but look at what is around this corner. I can't show you because somebody's modeling. I'm gonna point it down until they've stopped. I'm gonna point it down, right. Look at this. How wonderful is this? That is almost as good as the Trevi Fountain in Rome. That is beautiful. And the thing is as well, when you zoom you out, you can walk right behind it. That's mad. That is so good. You know what? It was so worth the 12 euro, oh no, 15 euros to get in. 12 quid. Right, let's just go behind it. I think it's so cool. I love this. I could, you know what? I could sit in the summer with my feet dangling in the water here, going for a quick swim. I wonder how long this has been here for. I have got a little book, but I ain't gonna read it. I'm not gonna lie. Look. It's so good. I wanna get right behind it. That's so cool. Ooh, what is this? Is this a tunnel? Don't know if you can even hear me. That's a little tunnel. It's probably for the drainage of the place. I don't want to get in people's foot. Ooh. It's for water, it's just for water drainage, I think. I don't want to get people's photos then. Also, I don't know if you can even hear me because this water is so loud, so loud. Right, like I said, it started to rain and I think it's going to be really heavy in a minute. Look at that. How cool is this? 15 euros well spent in my opinion. Right, so earlier we were in that church, the one that I said was made out of the different bits of different villas. It's here, it's right next to where we are. It's actually massive. You don't realize how big it is until you're outside of it. But look at this fountain. There's, there's just water everywhere, I swear. Everywhere we go. Look at this down over here though. Is there another one around this corner as well? Oh no, oh wow. We'll look at that in a second. No, look at this. First of all, in fact, we need to get down there for a good photo in a minute. First of all, we've got this. But then, oh, this is mad. This is mad. Look at that. That is so good. They look like me. They definitely look like me. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's outstanding work, it really is. In fact, let's go right out. Look at that. That's amazing. And then, looking across here, look. Wait a minute. That is so good. Imagine this, a beautiful sunset across there, or sunrise. That is so, so good. Now, there's definitely some really old bits in this place. And look at this as well with the vines growing over the top. It's just so pretty. I'm guessing that's like a little, maybe herb garden or something, flower garden over there. And then the big imposing building up on the hill, up there as well. Crazy stuff this. Now I wonder, because that church there had a side door and I was thinking, is there a way I can get from the church down into here? Now there's a door there. I'd not even noticed how there was a door in it. So I wonder if the guy in the church used to come and do his sermon here on a summer day. I could imagine it, him standing on there and people sort of stood round him and him preaching across to that. It's amazing to be fair. Also, I just need to say that man there, his head is ridiculously small for his body. It's got a fat ass and a tiny head and a very tiny something else underneath there by the looks of things but it's uh, it's a bit amazing i think that's the case i think they used to come out of that door because it all links i can't zoom out it all links to that church right so there's a, a workman bit i am not actually going to go in but there's a fountain thing inside there 
But behind it, there's a tunnel. You see it there. Now we're directly below the bit where I said, oh, there's a bit you can get down. So I reckon that that goes down to there. That'd be cool, wouldn't it, going down that? But I'm not going to do it because at the end of the day, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> and two, I just, I ain't got time. I just need to crack on and show you down here. But part of me really wants to, I'm not going to lie. Now, can you imagine this is actually somebody's house? This isn't a... This originally was some where somebody lived. It, I just you can't comprehend it. It's massive. Like we're in the grounds of it now. It just goes on and on and on in every direction. But it's this bit down here that's the best. Although I did like that one you could walk underneath. But this is impressive. Look at that. That is unbelievable. That is so beautiful. There's a little man in there. Wait a minute. Look. Little man hiding behind the waterfall. But that is just crazy. The effect of that is brilliant. I hate that there's people here. I <laughs> can't stand that there's people about. You know what I'm like. I like to be on my own. Looking at stuff. But that is so, so good. That is so, so good. Right, I want to, I sort of want to go right down there and look over the town and, and look at this from a distance. But it's not going to be any better than that. So rather than waste some, well, 20 minutes walking up there, having a look over, because we've looked across the city anyway, I'm going to head back um, because... I've got explores to do and I'm sorry, I feel like I, I say this a lot, I feel like I let you down sometimes, but it's time, especially because I flew here on a Friday night. Like, if I get here early hours of Friday morning, I've got all Friday, all Saturday, all Sunday, all Monday and then back on Tuesday, but I came on Friday night so I've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday and that's it. So, oh God, it's going to take me 25 hours to walk up these bleeding steps and that's not half of them. So anyway, see you when I get back up there. Right, I was gonna head straight back up there, but then I found this. I noticed this down here. Now it is all shut off, so I'm reckoning they're doing work on it. But it's got like dolphins and it would have had fountain coming out of there right in front of the house. This place is, is unbelievable. It is a fantastic, fantastic house. All right, once again, just as I was about to make my way up there, come round the corner. <laughs> it's not too shabby, is it, really? Look at that. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, bleeding heck, we'll look at that in a minute, but look at this and look at the mosaic on the pillars. That's crazy good. Look at that. It's so big, I have to stand miles away to show you. There's an owl in there for some reason but a lot of them they seem like they're doing work on it but i suppose it's the off season for these sorts of places you've got to think it's like just march so they're probably not open massively to the public until i don't know june time and then it'll be absolutely packed here but definitely definitely worth coming like that look at that that is out of this world i'll try and show you again properly now there's just been a roll of thunder, which is worrying. Yeah, look at that. That's so good, isn't it? Right, let's have a look in this other bit round this corner. Now I actually love this one, and I'll show you why in a minute. Look at this, another fountain. They were obsessed with water and fountains, these people. Look, it's like a little grotto underneath where they light it up. Dolphins on the side again. But it's the horses I love. Look at them. They're little happy bastards, aren't they? They're like laughing at his lack of penis, I think. <laughs> Look at him though, that's so funny. Right, anyway, don't know what they're doing with them shells. Right, let's crack on. It looks like volcanic rock, that you know, that makes up the outside of it. It's just, if you ever get a chance to come to Italy, I swear, come, because it's so, so good. I wouldn't, not many places I'd recommend higher 
obviously Scotland comes higher, but there's not many other places. Look how white my arm looks. Anyway, let's go. Right, I know where we are now. That's the balcony we were looking off a minute ago, because this is a little boat. Romulus and Remus. Not that you can see them very well, because it's that bright. And then, whoa. I don't know if you will have heard that, but that was definitely thunder. That was big, big time thunder. Looks like we're in for a storm. Look at that behind me though. How good is all this? Seriously, how good is all this? So, so good. Right, I just, I'm obsessed with this place. I really am obsessed with it. It's just so good. It's such a good place. And I've just found out from this little information thing here, something amazing. And also, I've just been, taking photographs like that it just looks so cool anyway this bit behind me is the source of all water that runs down to Rome one of the the major points where it runs from this hill and this hill is one of the most important places in the whole of the Rome area because it's the source of the main rivers that run down that's mad no wonder they're obsessed with water here it's so good and it's raining now. So like there's water over there and there's water over here. So I'm gonna go and get out of it because I don't wanna be wet all day. man I am so tired I've walked so far already so I want to get back in the car I've got to walk back to the car that's gonna take a while every corridor is like this long it's like being in an asylum all over again but anyway back to the car it's been really good in here I'm so glad I spent the money sometimes it's worth it sometimes it's not this time it definitely was I've just thought about something actually I came through the exit, so I've missed half of the stuff down here. And I've just realised there's actually mini fountains inside the building. Look. Oh, oh my lord. Why, why, why did I not come this way first? Look at it in here. How, how could I miss this? Oh, that is unbelievable. That is so good. Well, definitely uh, this behind the scenes was worth seeing, in my opinion. Because look at it. I can't believe that. And I can't believe I almost missed it. Let me, uh... there we go. That's a bit of a better view for you, look. Look at that. Shame I ain't got my torch just to light it up a little bit more, but there is lights on it. That is so good. So, so good. Anyway, let's continue this way. Imagine if we'd missed that. I would have been so mad if I'd looked later on and found it online or something. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. The next room is bigger and quite arguably better. So we've got another outdoor fountain. You can't go in here, but look. First you've got like a bath. And oh, it's a fountain, isn't it? Got a little door with a man in it. But look this that is madness man it's so good the little man coming out of that door over there I can't even see this wall around here but then that ceiling is just outstanding it's so good and the floor tiles are brilliant as well they're old you can tell they're old because they're uneven so it's just so so good that bath is amazing oh can you actually go in well, you can go in from the other room, but to be fair, we can see everything apart from this wall anyway. But imagine having a little fountain in your house. That'd be so cool. I wonder what's in this neck. Oh, look at that as well up there. I could have missed so much by going that other way. 
What we got in here? This is going to be rubbish, this room. Oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Look at this. And look what they found underneath as well. The original floor lock. So this would have been the original Roman villa floor. And the walls that went with it and the ceiling that went with it. Whether it was the ceiling was like this in Roman times, I'm not sure. I think this is probably like a later addition. But it would have been very similar, I would have thought. That is madness. The work that's gone into that. And then you can't really see it because of the glare, but there is a proper amazing little floor under there. That's so good. Anyway, let's see. Oh, look at that. Let's see if there's anything else in. Oh, there's another room here. Apartmento Nobile. Royal room or the noble's room or something. Oh Lord. Oh my Lord. This is absolutely stunning. Look at that. That's almost like the scene out of the window, if I'm being honest. Look, the river that runs down from the hill. I bet it's based on round here, although that's the sea and we're not that close to the sea. And then we've got another big scene there, but this is unbelievable. That is crazy good. Crazy good, it really, really is. Anyway, let's move on to the next room because another little one through here. You can't get in that end room. <sighs> Definitely worth the 15 euros, Matt. What are you doing, man? Imagine you walked away and didn't come in here. <sighs> this is crazy. It's so good. I, there's just so much to show you. I'm going too fast, really. But my arm will drop off if you go any slower. Because there's just so much to show you. And you can't go in there, but I don't think there's... Is there anything? Oh, it's very plain. Oh, no, wait. I say it's very plain. What's that round the corner? So, anyway, let's go. Right, the rest of this place is pretty much an art gallery. However, this next, this next room. So if you just looked at it at this angle, you'd think, oh look, artwork. But then you look up. <laughs> look, fucking hell, man. Look at it. Is that not crazy? I don't know what this writing is. It says it at the bottom of each set of people. But it's just crazy. I think this must be that. That says like Industria Intensia Bona, like something to do with work. Patience. Oh, patience, because she's got a little scale. I don't know, I'm not sure. They definitely represent somebody. But who they are, I don't know. But look at this. Absolutely madness. This place is crazy. And like I said, the views out the window are worth it. Just for coming, coming just look out the windows. Look at that. Look at that. I've got another one here, look. <sighs> Imagine coming across an abandoned house that's like this. Although, technically, last time in Italy, weren't far off. But anyway, we'll see if there's anything else. But then we need to head out. Oh, God, every room. Look at that. That's all woodwork. That's not painted, it's wood. Well, it's painted wood. It's actually 3D for a change, instead of fake 3D. It's crazy. I've got a little room which isn't quite as impressive, even though it is still impressive. But then, look at this. It's like, it's very dark, so it's quite hard to show you, but it's like a little chapel. There's like a little altar there. And then all the artwork up the top, Jesus up there, look. I can't really show you very well, but absolutely beautiful and then i think we're back to where we started 
which let me just check if it's the same place because a lot of these places look the same yes it is so we're back in this little square where we started so i've been pretty impressed with that i hope you have i hope you have because it was it was brilliant i loved it i loved every minute Ooh, look at this the water runs under there and there's little holes i wonder if sometimes water squirts out of there as well and that's back to that fountain right we better go well that was by far one of the best paid attractions i've ever been in it's not as good as um what do you call it where the volcano went off what's it called next to vesuvius pompeii it's not as good as pompeii but it's not far off it was really really good there's an helicopter buzzing around now i need a drink badly always bells in italy wherever i go there's always bells in italy right let's go get a drink go back to the car right i'm back at the car everything's still in here i locked it though that's why what an idiot i can't believe i did that still but um that was villa este i think it's called i've got the thing somewhere in there oh, oh. oh villa de este so it's v-i-l-l-a d apostrophe e-s-t-e -E. so if you want to have a look at it you can look it up i'm going to put that in the book so whoever gets to the book gets that um but yeah I'm gonna crack on now, pay my way out of here. I still ain't got a drink, I need a drink badly. The water fountains to drink in there was really good. I needed them with all those hills, but I need a drink badly. And we need to get out of here. And I need to charge this up because it's on 9%. So, <laughs> but I've brought three battery packs with me this time. So no issues, no issues at all.